Movie Podcast tonight with your anchors, me, Michael Tit Fuckington, and Phil, the fat black weatherman. That's me. <laughs> Trying something a little different, folks, okay? Bear with us. In today's first story, two character actors have died. Their deaths rocked Holly Weird. Oh, also, by the way, I'm Michael. I'm the fat black anchor. <laughs> no, you're not anymore. And okay, don't do I'm the Phil voice. Again. Don't do the voice, okay? I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> I know you didn't. What, I want to get canceled now? <laughs> just because we're like actually building up to something. Do I just work my nine to five? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the POD cast starring me, Mike Mule. Me, Phil Mule. That's, aw, I love that. Me too. Yeah, you're well, you're a beast of burden. Yep. Okay, I'm going to ride you hard and put you up wet, you salty dog. Okay, I'm trying to think of like some like a Rolling Stone song that could go into this. Um, uh, I'm just waiting on a friend. I don't know that one. Time yeah. is Long on my time. side. Do you remember that song? Yep. Did Robert Blake sing that? No. Uh, Robert Blake. Um, oh, sorry. The two actors who died are Robert Blake and Tom Sizemore. Yeah. We are not great at the news, no, okay? But we're, is... we're going to get better, God, God concern it. Yeah. Okay, this Phil, is... yeah. we told the folks last week we would be talking about Tom Sizemore. Yes. He died. Who we thought wasn't dead yet last time we did an episode. And he was already very dead for like 48 hours. Because I that looked him up to like read about like stuff, and I was like, oh, he's dead. Yeah, you sent me a thing and you were like, hey man, uh, Tom Sizemore's already dead. Yeah. Not is he or is he going to die. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, well maybe we can uh, b- pad this out into a... Also, who the fuck wants to click on a thing where we're talking about Tom Sizemore being dead for a full fucking hour? Exactly, yeah. It'd be annoying. Oh, it sucks shit. So, first, we're going too fast. We're trying too hard. Phil, what do you think about the new setup? I like it. It's comfy. Uh, we got the lav lav mics. Lav yeah, mics. Man. We're going wireless, man. Uh, going we've hand. got the T eight hundred skull. Yeah, man. We have that Dumbledore. That is not Dumbledore. That is from a failed project, a stop motion project. Me and Hondro tried one time uh, about evil wizards who were battling each other inside of their lair. Okay, this is like 10 years ago, yeah. and I just kept them. He's like yeah. a little wired. I was going to say, if that's Dumbledore, we're getting it off because we're not turfs. That's right. We're not turfs. We're Smurfs. Yeah, we're, we're little Smurfs. We're blue little babies. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm the Smurf that farts a lot, so I'm farty Smurf. You're farty Smurf. Sadly, I they had nobody left, so I am turf Smurf. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine? You get to be the transpho. <laughs> ah, but you, that still, sucks. But you still get to be a Smurf. The only thing is, you're the only Smurf that Gargamel likes. I can't kill him. We have the same. We have the same. <laughs> we vote thoughts. the same way. Yeah, we vote yeah. the same way. He's yeah, yeah. I'm a little blue Smurf with like a beard and little gay glasses, like fucking uh, Matt Walsh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just like I only care about trans people. Like, all right, dude. Well, there's why? a reason why. Yeah, I fuck it. I look. You know, people say at this point, I've heard a lot of people, even in the gay community, say it's hacky to say that homophobes are secretly gay. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you now, every homophobic person I've ever met and I spent enough time with winds up offering to blow me. Uh I'm serious, dude. I am 10 for 10 on that. It's fucking crazy. Also, to our podcast listeners... We are doing this mainly for the YouTube, and it's going to be released on the uh, main feed, so check us out. YouTube link is going to be in today's uh, description, and uh, yes, that's why we're going a bit more visual with our references, but Phil, I was dragging ass this morning, dude. As was I. I actually ghosted you for like like 24 hours. hours. Yeah, dude, it was bad. I was like, I don't think I'm dead. No, I just thought you were going to get back to me and be like, I can't. My tum-tum hurts. No, I, I was hibernating. I got off of work like yesterday around like 11. Oh, really? And then like just took an edible, took a, like an over-the-counter like sleeping med. And I was like, all right, it's time to fucking crash hard. And I slept from like 12 to 9, woke up, uh, then went back to sleep at like 12 a.m. Then like pretty much slept till like almost 12 today oh shit so you got 
You got old. You're sleeping, man. Yes, yeah, so I don't have to sleep for like a week. <laughs> like, no. Yeah. No, that works. Yeah, no. Stay up for a full fucking week, dude. Start yeah. seeing those little shadow people, man. I can't wait. Yeah, I got a little shadow person following me right now, dude. Yeah? Yeah. What's yeah, his name? His name is, um, his name's Shadow Man. Okay. You remember that video? Yeah, of the N64. <laughs> yeah. Highly underrated. Ha- fuck yeah, but also highly fucking difficult. Yeah. Fuck that. I game. had that, no, I... I didn't own it, but I rented it, and, like, I was, like, what, 12 or 13, or, like, probably, like, no, like, 10 or 11. I was, like, ah, yeah, yeah, just throw the controller down, but now I'd love to play it. I started playing it a couple weeks ago. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a gamer. Yeah. I had one fucking game system for 15 years. It was the N64. So, Poverty. I'm talking, I was 24 years old, and still, I would be, like... I don't know. I guess I'll play Goldeneye for the one trillionth time. Yeah. No human being on earth. I'm making a bold statement here, and I mean it. You cannot beat me at Goldeneye. I it doesn't never, matter. But you I'm could sure go you DK can mode. Me. You could go fucking like like the chop like the the, the 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 like the fucking karate chop one hit and you're dead mode. And yeah. You will or not. Best you man. could be the little guy short not nah, short round. Short uh, round. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> short round. I'm in wrong game. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, give me your little uh, weed hitter. All right. Give me your little weed hitter. Give me your little weed whacker. A little fucking yeah. fucking pink dick. Yeah, they call my weed whacker up no way. Call my wiener a weed whacker. Why? I don't know. I had this guy at work today. We were shooting a video. <coughs> Can't talk about work. Yeah. Specifically. But he asked me. He was like, he was like, <coughs> he's a gay guy. <coughs> and he was like, uh, he was like, uh, are you gay? <coughs> and I was like, <coughs> uh, immediately flushed red, <laughs> sweating. Yeah. He was like, I'm gay. And I was like, oh, that's great. Please don't follow that up with anything. And yeah. he didn't. You want to get terms a drink? Of, yeah, yeah, he didn't do any of that. Yeah, yeah. You want to go to the copy room and make out? Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, no, I don't, 57 I want to put you on the copy. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I want to put your booty cheeks. Yeah. And it's like, please don't tell anybody. And I was like, no, okay. But he was like, when did you know you were gay? And I was like, I was seven. You should have been like, right now. <laughs> just stare him down and he goes all right fuck you man just walks away and i wasn't it i was asking i was asking personal questions but he was asking way too personal yeah yeah where it's like i don't know you enough to really like talk about like my life or like my struggles with things i've done yeah and like yeah. when i knew i was gay but i yeah. get it i get it i was like i was seven when i knew i was gay so, yeah. like, how'd you know i do wish i'd have said right now <laughs> that would have been fucking great. No, but I was like, uh, I was seven. Uh, I just kept looking at this. I just realized that I didn't know what gay meant, but I just knew boys are special to me and not girls because they're icky. Yeah. They're icky retards and I hate them. Yeah. And I still feel that way. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. But I was like, I don't know, man. I just knew I was gay at seven. He was like, I was nine. I was like, oh, that's great. Right. And he was like, who's your favorite princess in Disney? I'm like, <laughs> I all right, like, I don't... I was like, I'm not that fucking gay, dude. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's Cinderella. Gaston. Ob- You're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> but I was like, it's obviously Cinderella. Yeah. And he was like, he was like, okay. All right. All right. Who's the sleepy bitch? I like yeah, her. Who's that sleepy bitch, though? Yeah. Who's that sleepy, salty, nasty? Bitch. Yeah. Who's that nasty sleeping Her name bitch. is Snow White. <laughs> Her name is Snow Wait, White. Wait, that's Sleeping Beauty. Wait. That's I, Sleeping I, Beauty. Okay, I get them all confused. Sleeping Beefy. Yeah, <laughs> Sleeping Beefy. Sleeping Queefy. Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> that's all you hear. Imagine sleeping ugly and it's just like she's just still <laughs> in a cave sleeping and yeah. nobody, everybody's like, ugh. Yeah, I'm not waking her up. I'm going to kiss that. It's a frog. Be like, ah, I know I'm a prince, but I don't want to. I'm wanna... not kissing that piece of shit. Uh, she looks more like a frog than me. Yeah, that's a fucking dud. Yeah. That's a dud. What else you got? I'm going to go eat fly. It's like the ugly guy with super high standards. Oh, I love that. Yeah, the guy who like legit looks like Gollum. I've had he's... friends like that where it's like, <laughs> I'm like, what are, you, what are you talking about? You one time said to me, though. I'm sure I have. I'm going to throw it at you. You one time said to me, you were like, I would wear a no fat chicks t-shirt if I could get away with it. Yeah. And I still, I think about that once a week. And I'm like, 
Damn, that would be so fucking funny. It would that be. That would be so but funny. But someone would go, uh, you're fat, and I'm like, I know. It's a joke. <laughs> so how'd your week go, Phil? Great. Uh, I got, I slept in my cave for about 24 hours, got out, uh, ate some berries, and came over here. The rest of the week was just working. So. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't have much this week either. I saw a homeless guy barfing and walking, as and he was 25 feet in front of me as walking in the same direction as I'm trying to walk my dog. So, what I mean is, he barfed like 10 times, right? Drunk, I don't know what was Walking and puking is impressive. Walking and puking. Dude's a badass for yeah. that. Dude was fucking sick for that. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm walking and I'm like, this guy's a fucking psycho. Just like drug addicted, straight mm. dude. I feel bad for him. Yeah. But it's also like, fuck, man. That's it's, what you it's, should. It's, yeah, but it's also 7.30 in the morning. I'm walking my dog. I don't want to see this. Yeah, exactly. Like, can you take that a couple streets away? Yeah. But also, I have a dog. Mm -hmm. So he's in front of me, puking and walking. So every... 10 steps after that, there was a pile of puke that my, fresh puke. Oh, the dog's like, oh boy. She was like, oh my God, I want to start, no, 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 fuck. And I have to like drag her almost into the street. Like, no, 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 we cannot. Like golden corral for her. Yeah, and I eventually had to, yeah. <laughs> I had to eventually grab her by the head and be like, look, I also want to eat puke, okay? You have to talk to them like them. Yeah. You know, I don't want to eat puke. Yeah. But yeah, oh. look at him. He can't him. I'll say, like, you can't eat puke. You're, you're fight your animalistic impulses. <laughs> when we get home, you can eat my puke. He's just like, when we get home, we'll puke all over each other. Okay? <laughs> That's what the OnlyFans is That's for. That's like doggy heaven. <laughs> That's doggy heaven. Yeah. So I want to puke on dad, and dad pukes on me, and we just lap, lap it up. up. We lap, and we sniff each other's butt. Yeah. Yeah. And we just, like, pass out and just... <laughs> have dreams. Have yeah. dreams where we're running. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just whimpering. Yeah. You know? That weird... <laughs> yeah. It's like, what's happening? And that's what we did. The dog catcher is trying to get them in the dream. With the, the classic hat. net. He's got yeah, the, the net. net the top hat. The, yeah, the stick yeah. with the net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. All right, Phil, let's get to the news. All right. Tom Sizemore. He's dead. R.I.P. <laughs> Tom Sizemore. <laughs> I, re I know him from a lot of movies. Um... Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man, he's the bad guy. Fucking name a real movie for once in your fucking life. Name a good movie. Well, it's a real movie. Name a movie people know. You do this nonstop. Uh, Saving Private Ryan. Uh, name a real movie. True Romance. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. No. Uh, oh. Saving Private Ryan. <clears throat> Black Hawk Down. Yeah, I know. We'll get to them. We'll just talk about it real quick. I love Tom Sizemore. I've... That's the thing, is anything I've seen him in, I've always liked Sizemore. I've never had like a, ugh, Tom Sizemore. More like Tom Fizemore. He was a great actor. Tom Fizemore, because he was thick. Sizemore, yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. He's a put him in a boy. little cocktail dress. Mm-hmm. You know? Hey, what kind of drinks y'all want him, Tom Sizemore? Yeah, also, do you have, uh, want to do a couple key kicks in the bathroom? <laughs> Where is he from? Um, let me look you at your phone. Yeah, look it up. Come on, look it up. For some reason, I want to say New York. Somewhere in New York. See, I'm thinking like Detroit, but that might also be because of fucking Oh, wait, romance. you might be right. Because I just feel like there's a Midwest Rust Belt vibe to him. You know what I mean? Yeah, you might could, be right. I could see that. I could see that. Detroit, Michigan. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. He's from fucking Detroit. Yeah. Bam! You got it. Bam, I'm good. Because it, I didn't get like a like a world... Traveler vibe that you get from those cunt assholes in New York, you know the gotcha. thing where it's like, "Hey, I'm street smart. I'm from fucking New York." You well, know I didn't mean like New York City. I meant like upstate, like somewhere New Rochelle or whatever. Yeah, uh, Syracuse or is that north? Or... No, that's yeah, 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 that's upstate. Yeah, every all of New York State is upstate from this one little little. Piece of fucking like New York, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's like Florida's a penis or whatever mm -hmm. for the United States. Yeah. And it is. Yeah. Okay, fine. It's a big, suckable fucking dick. We all love it, right? With herpes. E yeah, with herpes, sure. And all, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got like little mites running around in it. <laughs> and they're all just like white supremacist assholes yeah. on fucking, you know, fucking kratom and meth. <laughs> Depends how south you go. Well, yeah. they're still there. No, fuck that. No, no, no. Yeah. The north you go. Mm. 
the, oh, the north, north part of Florida is it's just Georgia it's just part Georgia two. Georgia part two, yeah. It's Georgia part two. Yeah. But it gets even more Georgia uh-huh. than Georgia wants to admit. Yeah. Like Georgia's like, no, we're Atlanta, we're fucking Athens, yeah. we're whatever. We have culture. We have culture. We we got black people here. Yeah. Huh? We're pretty cool. We got yeah. hip hop. Huh? Uh, huh? Yeah. Come come on to fucking Atlanta, yeah. you know, hot Atlanta, by the way, yeah. which is where we're broadcasting from. But South Georgia, that's when like it's just it's shit, just pecan trees. Shit gets wild. It's in cotton South and pecan trees. It's fucking nuts, dude. Yeah, it sucks down there. It does. Like when you're down there, like my first thought is like, oh, I, I like I almost feel like a zombie when I'm down there. Yeah, like I just want to bite an old white man's cheek. Yeah, and, and turn him into a zombie. But yeah, turn him into a zombie, and then chain him up. Yeah, put him on a fucking lead and <laughs> feed him. Oh fuck yeah, it's like a pet. Yeah, I want to keep a little old white man as a pet. Who's the old white man you would keep as a pet? <laughs> famous has to be famous. Can't say my dad. Who's <laughs> uh, John Bolton? Just because he looks so ridiculous. <laughs> we like having like a weird Scotty dog. That would around. be great. That, oh, he would. He's got that great little ridiculous fucking thing. I would thing. see like news articles with him on the page. Like, who is this? Who and is what? that? And your second thought was, I want him as my pet. Yes. Yeah, and he's wearing like just like little leather, little fucking My angry thing. grandpa. Yeah, or dude. Like, yeah, no, he's your angry little fucking Yelper dog. Yeah. That would be great. That, that was is a John Bolton. Legitimately, former ambassador. Slash warmonger John yeah. Bolton would be a great fucking pet. For someone so ridiculous looking, looking like, oh, Jesus Christ, he's like a warmonger fucking pet. Yeah, no, I would love him as a pet. Oh, yeah. my God, dude. You keep him, like, in one of those hanging bird cages, yeah. too, where he has, like, the little tin cup. He's he got drags. that and that big, like, <laughs> hamster wheel and a rolly ball that's, like, in my backyard. <laughs> sure, man. Get me out of here. I need water. Yeah, no, 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 you can give him the little water thing, the little water thing that you can suckle off of, you yeah. know? And it's like, uh, but you fill it with, like, uh, like liquid acid. There. Yeah, and the tip is shaped like a penis. Imagine him tripping balls, and he's telling you about how his new idea of how we should bomb Iran. Yeah, or and just gives me classified information. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, and then we sell it to the Ruskies. Yeah. Come on, dude. dude the I Ruskies have... and the Chinese, Who baby. Needs... Dude, baby, th- th- this is the new fucking power fucking hungry world we're in. Yeah. I'm selling it to the highest bidder. I mean, everybody wants to rule the world. Yeah, exactly. Tears for Fear said it best. We saw them. We saw them live. That's yeah. right. Okay, what old white man would I want as a pet? <clears throat> I know we're playing identity politics here. Relax. YouTubers, old white man, I would want. I'm sorry, I don't think you can beat John Bolton. Can we share him? Just on weekends. Yeah, but you gotta have your own. Yeah, okay, okay. You know, because then enough. there's gonna be a time when it's like, hey man, I, I kind of want John Bolton just be my John Bolton. No, he's yours. He's your little pupper. Yeah. And yeah. you keep him like locked up all day when you're at work and you come home and he gets the zoomies. Yeah. But it's like old white man zoomies. Where I give him a hair bow. Like, instead of like old white man zoomies. Instead of like dogs that run around, they jump on the couch, they jump down, they run over there. Yeah. Like old white man zoomers are just they're crabby as fuck. He's just complaining. The Where the hell's my oatmeal? I, I saw to... an article about trans <laughs> yeah, <I> was... people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, my old white man. Oh man. Oh fuck, dude. I can't go politics. That'd be lame. It's not mm-hmm. a politics show. Even though you just hit the fucking nail on the head. I'm gonna say. 65 and up, right? We're talking old white man. Yeah, yeah. 70 and up. Let's go, yeah, let's go 70 and up. 70 and up still has to be alive? Yes. Okay. 70 and up still has to be alive. Do you remember Pat Cooper? No. Okay, never mind. Because, oh, God, he's such a bulldog. He's like an old Jewish guy. Yeah. Angry cunt. Oh, okay. He used to be on the Howard Stern show all the time. No? All right, fine. Old white man that I could have as a pet. There's a lot of them. I know, there's so many. It's like big they're just racing through my fucking mind and right now. they're slowly now. being canceled. Uh, I know. Well, you can't be a white man in America. Anymore. No, you can't. That's mainly the point of the show, by yeah. the way. We're going to do Oscar predictions also. Yeah. Um, and it'll be two days late when it's, this comes out. Um, I'm going to say old white man I could keep just like and I'm thinking like kind of like a like a like a like a like a monitor lizard that I just bust mm. out when me and my boys are smoking fucking weed. Yeah, what you eat this mouth, bro? Yeah, dude, like an old monitor lizard. I bust out, keep him in a glass like you know fucking terrarium yeah. all day, you know, and just like feed him flies and shit. You know, like old cri- like like dead crickets. <laughs> yeah, dead crickets. And I like stuff the live like ones. That. That's, yeah, that's that. Dogs always bark and I'm like, like sister, leave him alone. Yeah. 
I can't go with that big, stinky orange man. No, that's off limits. Trump's <laughs> off limits at this point. I'm like, I get it. I just don't fucking care. Now. I get it. The he joke's sucks. done. We're done talking about him. <laughs> yeah. We're done talking about yeah. him. Okay. Well, then um, it would probably be a, a Wallace Shawn. Oh, man. I'm jealous now. As <laughs> at least love, your old, he's quirky. You know what? No, old he, white man he, as a pet would he, be, like, nice, nice and stuff. So, you know what, then? He's not a monitor lizard. He would be a dog, but he's the kind of dog that, like, you don't, like, grab him and squeeze him and shit. Like, he's the dog who sits next to you He'd and, like, like, a, like, like a got, French bulldog or yes, something. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He's, like, a seven-year-old. Named Wallace. Named Wallace. Per- perfect dog name. Perfect fucking dog would yeah. be Wallace Shawn. Yeah. He's not dead. Do you know who is dead? Uh, Tom Sizemore. Tom Sizemore. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I mean, fuck, dude. I loved him so much, and I hate the fact that we knew so much about him. Mm-hmm. Like, that he was in... I think he was on that shitty fucking Dr. Drew show. He was on one of the celebrity rehabs. Celebrity yeah. rehab, and Dr. Drew still defends that. He's like, well, no, this was a good way to... Look, I still get people emailing me saying, hey, you helped me get sober by uh, showing uh, you, you know people struggling on television. You exploited them, and a good percentage of them are fucking dead. Yeah, fucking dead. Overdosed, by the way. Except you did for not like, help. Except for who? Like Gary Bussey? Yeah, Bussey? who I don't think drugs will ever kill him. No, you can't destroy... No, he's like a Terminator. Yeah. There's no stopping Gary yeah. Bussey. Oh, I'm going to grab a kitty <laughs> at a convention, and I'm going to masturbate the park. Do you remember when, uh, and people I, think will it was, I think it was the red carpet, like 2015 or something before, like the Oscars or the Emmys or something, and uh, Jennifer Garner, it was probably the Oscars, mm-hmm. it was the pre-show where all the celebrities are walking around, there's the, you know, E.T. and... You know. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was confused. Yeah, my like kid e. brain. Et e. and Et e. 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 Mac and me drinking a coke. Yeah, everybody. He goes. You know, we're not so different. <laughs> <laughs> You're just cheaper. No, but Et shows up like fucking like you know. He's like he's like Tupac during the fucking like you know the B B E T awards or whatever. Yeah. Fucking mid nineties where he's just like fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fucking West Coast bitch. Yeah. You know Mac e. and me's e. just phone like, homie. Yeah. Sorry, that's from that's from the Simpsons actually. Oh, you little bitch only yeah. owned it. Yeah. Owned it. All right, yeah. credit due. Uh check them out. Yeah, check out the Simpsons, season one to twelve, thirteen. Yeah, I would give it that far. I'll give it the fifteen. Yeah, yeah, okay. You don't have to go that far. No. You don't have to go that far. You know me, I, I fucking, you know, I'd like to go far. Do you go so far? I, I really do. I'm I'm like the king of edge lords. You really are. Yeah. Like, you texted me the other day. You were so wild. Yeah. You texted me. I was at work, and you texted me a fucking, just a, like a screenshot of some porn Tom Sizemore did, by yeah. the way. Which you just thought I sent you porn, and you're like, why are you sen- sending me porn? I'm like, that's Tom Sizemore. How am I supposed to know that? But also... Am I supposed to study? But no, hang hold on. on. It was, hold on, let me say. Mm-hmm. It was, I'm at work, <laughs> and I get a text from Philip, and I'm like, oh, that's Philip. He's probably just like, hey, here's some song I like, or something like you normally do. <clears throat> and I look at it, and it's just like, I don't know, what do you call them, pogs? Like fat-ass white girls, mm-hmm. and then like in their 50s and shit, yeah. like cigarette fucking skin. And I look at that, and then there's like this like flabby fucking tubby white Irish dude. Something. Yeah, 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 just some tubby piece of shit. Yeah, some he's like, with a dildo And he's like mouth. sucking on a fucking dildo out of a... stuck out of a woman's pussy. <laughs> And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, what would you think? I was going to study it like I knew Tom Sizemore porn? i sorry, but when you said, why would you send me porn? I was like, I, you have literally sent me pictures of black penises while I was at work. No, no, no. No, no, that's different. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> it's funny to send you black penises. Yeah, I was like, I, I'm glad like I wasn't talking to somebody also, and they grab out my phone and be like, oh, no, that's not, I'm not into that. <laughs> But also, if, Phillip, if I was, it'd be cool. That's Philip normal. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, but Philip, Especially black. Big and black. You big and black. Big and black. Big and black. Okay. I'm, I'm let, me be per- I'm let me be queer here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfectly honest. Let me be queer. <laughs> let me be queer. <laughs> I enjoy BBCs. Yeah. And I, I love democracy. Those yeah. are the two things I love the most, is BBCs and democracy. If you could wrap a BBC in the Constitution, stick it in my fanny, right now, I would be very grateful. It would tie this country together <laughs> during a time of strife. This is him talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can show you the clip. 
Okay. Okay. I'll show it to you later. Yeah, now. we'll Choice link in the description. Link in the description. You guys will love it. But uh, yeah, so you love BBC's Wrapped in the Constitution. I get that, but you sent me that with Tom Sizemore. Mm -hmm. So what did he do? I guess he just made porn tapes. I'm like, it was. I don't understand. I didn't even look this up. It was like a leaks tape of him and like two prostitutes. Just Apparently. fucking going at it. Yeah. Just fucking, man, he was a dirty dog. He really was. Like, and it, look, it ended his life short. He was 61, mm -hmm. I believe, when he died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple days ago, I guess a week or two ago now. Um, RIP to a real one. Not mm -hmm. just because he made porn tapes and he struggled with addiction. That sucks. I feel for him there. Who hasn't? Mm -hmm. Or at least a lot of people have. I know I have, and I know you have mm -hmm. struggled with drinking too much, taking pills, mm -hmm. all that kind of shit you do in your 20s yeah. and 30s. And probably, let's be honest, you and me, 40s. 40s. <laughs> yeah, we're headed yeah. in. We're going into the long stretch, sister. We are. We're heading home, dude. We're going to hit home base. Yeah, man. we're on our way. Home yeah, sweet oh, home. Oh, man, I love you, dude. Motley Crue. Oh, I love Motley Crue, dude. Yeah. Oh, who's your favorite Motley Crue member? Um, Nick Mars. Oh, see, I like Wimpy. Okay. <laughs> I like Wimpy and Grumpy. Yeah, I, I, like, I like Wallace Cunty. and Gromit. Oh, dude. When they were fucking... That song about their fucking traveling pants? Yeah. <laughs> or whatever, the trousers? Yeah, the traveling trousers. You know, I can't watch Wallace and Gromit. First off, I can't watch them. Yeah. But when I either. do, because fuck English people, they're fruit. They're, they yeah. are so gay. We're going to go on an adventure today, Gromit. The fact that they took over half of Earth is mind-boggling mm -hmm. to me. Like, I'm sorry. If I'm hanging out in, like, like... I don't know, Africa or India back in the day, and I see these fruit balls show up, just be like, flumpy, flumpy, floop, do. Well, all they did was like, oh, hello, uh, we're, we're going to. Do you mind? We're going to take over your country, yeah. and we're also going to take all your artifacts and art and put it in our own uh, <laughs> fucking places. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right? If they showed up. No, 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 I'm not even saying that. I'm saying if they showed up looking like they do, mm -hmm. with like. Remember, like in cartoons, where the guy like, like gets banged on the head and then like has the piano key fucking yeah, teeth or the big out like, angles. Okay, yeah. no, but that, but not that they all have that mouth. Yeah, and they show up looking like John Oliver, right? <laughs> and they stink. Yeah, like John Oliver. Which and they sometimes show, funny. Yeah, if they. Yeah, I love John Oliver. Yeah, I'm just saying, like if they show. showed up, landed on my beaches, war mode, war mode, war yes. mode. I would crush them, dude. Okay, I think we would. I don't think I would. I'm an American. That's true. All right? You're talking some 70% shit. Mm -hmm. I'm doing 110. Okay. I'm an American. That's American right, American right there. That's a, American, 100. okay? Subscribe if you 70 like. 70 percent's France. That's France, okay? And it's 70% stinks like shit and 30% rapist. Fuck that country. Yeah. Okay? Fuck them in the... It's a French word for pussy. No, no, in the asshole. Oh, Aswell. bussy. Bussy. Yeah. In the, yeah. In the bussy. In the bussy. Well, Phil... Yes. Tom Sizemore. Love him. He was in Heat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wait. Was he? <laughs> he was in the movie Heat, Heat sure. Yeah. But that's not what I meant. My was man was heat. fucking in rut, dude. Yeah. He, he was, was a horny bear, dude. <laughs> he was a horny buck. He was right. so old oh, man. He was dude. sniffing the ground. Dude, just he was just fucking getting just, his antlers, yes, hitting the taking trees. Yeah, dead, dude. Man, he's, just, he's gotta come. Just debarking those trees, yeah. dude. He was a sick fucking in rut little fucking horny little paparino, dude. Yeah, he was a he, he was he, just he, fucking humping legs. Yeah. Don't stop till he finishes. I, I like as a deer, so it's like uh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're kind of gangly and you have antlers. Yeah, and you stink like cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, and the woods. <laughs> but he's not the only person who died. Mm -hmm. But he, you know, but he did die. Yeah. Okay. Robert Blake died. Yes. If you would know him from the show Beretta and murdering his wife. That's it. And nothing else. Yeah. And nothing else. I could be, be, be like, hey, Dad, what, what, uh, what was Robert Blake? And he'd be like, I don't remember from Beretta. And I get it. Like, his wife, uh, I think the story is she was like, my sister. And he was just like, that's enough. Wow. Yeah. He shot her to death. Yeah. Like, and they got were... away with it. Yeah. Like, wasn't the story like he went into the rest, he claimed he went into the restaurant to get something and he found her in the car? He said, yeah, with a, with a he said that dinner. they were eating dinner mm -hmm. at a restaurant. Then they were like, oh, let's, let's go to the car. Valet or whatever. It's LA, you know. They're fancy bears. Yeah. Car picks him up. Or they, 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 you know, they get the car. She gets in the car and he's like, hold on, I'll be right back, dollface. I forgot my pistol at the table. 
Isn't that the story? Yes. Is that he said he went back into the restaurant to get his gun? He forgot his fucking six shooter. And meanwhile, while he's getting his gun, another person with a gun the exact same style, like this is like my cousin Benny coincidence. Yeah. Right? Pulls up in a fucking green Buick or whatever, a Skylock, right? And shoots her to fucking bits and pieces. Takes off, you know? And then Robert Blake comes back out and he's like, oh no, my friggin' wife. Yeah, oh no. She got shot to death. Oh no, she's dead. Oh no, she's dead. She got shot towards death. Now she's been shot till shees been dead. A little boomer joke. Women are dead. Or something <laughs> stupid like, 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 like that. My wife, wife, fucking He's doing that hate. to the like, mortified valet yeah. who's like shocked and just like will never get over the PTSD. Yeah. Yeah. Women, huh? Yeah, women, huh? They shoot themselves to death. Yeah, it's like, speaking of death, you know. Oh, I just want to go home. Okay, yeah. <laughs> was, like, he's the teenager from The Simpsons. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If this is a Simpsons reference podcast. It's been that way from, from Simpsons the reference podcast now. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Plow. But Robert Blake died. Uh, also in my notes, I wrote Robert Black. <laughs> and you know what? Another Simpsons reference. Mr. Black. Mr. Black. Mr. Black. Sorry if you don't like The Simpsons, but I know you like this next one. Second story for Movie News Podcast tonight. Starring me, Michael Tit Fuckington, and Mike. Phil, the no. fat black weatherman. It's me. <laughs> okay, don't do the voice. I'm not. Okay. You promise? Oh, it's going to rain. You know, in um, yeah. yeah, that's good. The New Hampshire. Like oh. exactly. Yeah. That's all I meant by voice. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Second story: Bob Odenkirk remakes the classic, so bad it's good movie, The Room. Yep. Phil. Pull it up. Mm-hmm. Tell us about it. Pull Come on. It's the news store. It's the news story. News store. Ah! Okay, look. I got that one like crystal. Fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> I broke my $10,000 <laughs> Baccarat crystal my... of the T101 model yeah. fucking uh, the Terminator head. That'd yeah. be great. My Swavar... What the fuck is that shit called? Swavarsky diamonds or crystals or whatever? I can't... I'm saying it wrong. Hey. Comment below and subscribe, like, and ring that notification bell. All right, well. Damn, I'm good. So, for the next segment. Let's do hand on hand here. Okay. Okay, grip it. Come on. Grip it, okay. Tell me the story. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, well, actor, comedian Bob Odenkirk says he's starring in a remake of Tommy Wiseau's The Room. He says, I tried my best (laughs) to sell every line. Uh... Yeah, so he shared that he is starring in a remake of the 2003 cult film, The Room, who he is Johnny, of course. The I did not hear her. I did. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, I follow him on Twitter, uh, uh, Tommy Wiseau, mm-hmm. and every day, and I don't know why I'm following him. It's just like total hipster bullshit. I'm even following him, yeah. to be honest. But And we're going to totally be doing a watch party soon of The Room. We should. I don't think we can do it on the YouTube, uh, but we will be doing that on the main pod. Or yeah. at least the Patreon at patreon.com forward slash PMTM. And who's not on the Patreon, which is most of you, you should check it out. Check it out, honestly, because this week we're going to be talking about our man, our big mean boyfriend of the week... We're talking about him. Mm -hmm. Come on. Gary Busey. Gary Busey. Or as we lovingly call him on the show, Gary Bussey. Why? Or dad. Or dad. He is sort of our dad. Yeah. He is our dad. Yeah. If he played one of the founding daddies of our country, who would he be? (laughs) John Adams. (laughs) I can kind of see that. I'm from uh, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. My brother makes beer. My brother. I think it's my cousin. My cousin or something. I don't care. I'm shit faced right now. I'm going to whack you. Yeah. I'm going to whack you. With a stick on fire. I love that my favorite fact about Gary Bussey, and we'll get into this on the Patreon this week, is the fact that the reason he got brain damage is because L.A. County in the late 1980s was saying uh, they were putting up for a vote. Mm-hmm. Should motorcycle riders wear helmets? Should they be forced to do that, right? And he was the loudest person saying, I will not wear a motorcycle helmet while I'm on my motorcycle riding through the Hollywood Hills. And then literally a week later, he gets into a horrific motorcycle crash with no helmet, suffers insanely traumatic brain injury. It's like an old person getting COVID at the 91st. (laughs) Yeah, he's just like, there ain't no such thing as COVID. Oh my God, y'all. He's on Facebook. I am dying of COVID. This feels like the goddamn pneumonia. Yeah, okay, look, Fauci, 
Ouchie. Fauci. Uh, Fauci, you done out uh, man. take the Fauci out <laughs> like, Shut the fuck up, you there was hack. Some, there was some fucking hack retard, uh, like, like, lib, just shit lib on uh, TikTok or something like that who made a video which was like, y'all remember when you got the vaccine card? Mm-hmm. Like, 2021? Yeah. He was like, I made... Because you remember how the way the, the, the vaccine card was shaped was you couldn't put it in your wallet... You couldn't like it would have to be it. like on a lanyard. Yeah, exactly. So what he did, he was like, I made a little it's on my Etsy, a little super hyper gay guy. Yeah. He was like, I made these Love little, arts and crafts. I made some Fauci ouchy pouches. And <laughs> I guarantee you he sold I'm yes. Every like Kamala is my mama, yes, yeah. queen fucking just regular MSNBC boring centrist liberal. Bought that. Yeah, Kamala's your mama, but she'll throw you in fucking prison. <laughs> she sucks shit. Yeah. She sucks shit. She sucks cap. shit. And it's from the same crew that are just like, orange man, you tangerine man. It's like, Trump, literally, I would, I, I, I would, I, w- I would put him at gunpoint to suck my wiener. Mm-hmm. Is how much I don't like that man. Yeah. But you know, he would have already pulled the gun first and be like, let me suck your cock. Yeah, it's like, oh. like his little orange head is sucking your dick yeah. and his gun pointed at yeah. you. <laughs> and God, you can see it's God, empty. I love this. I, I love this. Yeah. <laughs> it's so huge. <laughs> so Bob Odenkirk is remaking The Room, you said. Yeah. <laughs> Back on topic. Remaking The Room. Um, did you ever see The Room? Yes. Uh, one full time and the rest of the time. The reason I remembered it because... It, it was Tim and Eric, like, had him on to do, like, skits, but also would talk about the room and just basically mocking a dumb person the whole time. And he's like, oh, this is man. nice. I'm glad people like me. And they're just like, yeah. And they're just, like, fucking with him. That was their whole Two thing. Two fucking shitty fat nerds. <laughs> and I do like Messing fa- with a guy from a country no one's heard of. Okay, so, yeah, that, like, sank. Yeah. He's from, I'm from Caspiar. I'm from Yak, Estonia. <laughs> yeah, exactly, from Yak, Estonia. Yeah, I'm from Yak, Estonia. <laughs> I was actually king, prince. No, but it is interesting that when you look at them now, they're just like, especially like, you know, Tim Heidecker, you know, he's a very progressive leftist dude. Yeah. And I love him to pieces. Mm-hmm. Like, I genuinely do. But you think like, dude, you did get like at least underground artsy fartsy famous, you mm-hmm. know, like 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 like, like art house famous. Yeah, for basically for just mocking. Like, uh, what do you, what would you what's the right way to say it now is like a neuro neuro divert. Yeah, people. like a few were like you made fun of wackos and slow people actors and, who were like in like very small like. C grade like canon film. Yeah, I don't and know what just to people make who are that. fucking insane. Yes, oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, absolute fucking yeah. just insane people. Yeah, you know, but uh, but you know, so uh, you know, hey, woke mob, why don't you go canceling him? Where are you going? You gotta go pay. Yeah, you gotta go pay. Okay. Well, remember, you're wearing a lav mic. You're well. still gonna be wired up. I'll keep talking while you go. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's try and not hear what's about to happen in the bathroom. And uh, ah. the next story is the Super Mario Brothers movie is uh, coming out April 5th. Um, and uh, yeah, I know, you know, I played Super Mario Brothers as a kid and I really loved it. And I'm excited for this. And I believe who's that kind of weirdo Christian actor who's awesome. Uh, he's one of the Chris's, but people get mad at him. Like, he's a weirdo Christian, though. Uh, Chris, not Chris Prime. Chris Prime? John Prime? Chris Pratt. He's doing the voice of uh, Mario. And uh, they did the thing where they de Italianized his voice, which kind of sucks because uh, I always did enjoy the fact that uh, it's a me, a Mario, you know, the whole thing that he did. And uh, oh, thank God. Thank God. Sorry, traffic was bad. So, Phil, we're, <laughs> Phil, we're talking about the Super Mario Brothers. Ah, yes. Uh, movie comes out April 5th. Are you a Super Mario mm. fan? I would say so. I, I, you would yeah. say so, uh, or you agree so? I'm a Mario fan, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, of course, it all started with uh, the Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario World, and Super Nintendo. Yeah. I think the last Mario game I would have played would have been like... 
Super Mario Sunshine on the GameCube. But after that, you're so fucking gay. When the Wii and stuff came out, I was like, I don't give a fuck. You're so about. fucking gay. Super well, Sunshine Bros. What is that? S- Super Mario Sunshine was a what? game where you go to different <laughs> planets and you clean them up with like a huge hose. That sounds so cool. It was fun. Yeah, that actually sounds so great. Well, remember, not I'm compared to Luigi's Mansion. Gay. Okay, so what was the one that came out on 64 you mentioned? Was that Mario 64? Mario 64, yeah. I could never figure out how you get out of that first area. (laughs) You may, uh... Yes, where, like, you walk into the the different... There's the castle, and there's there's the different levels. Yeah, yes, and there's the different levels? Yeah, you just jump into the paintings. Don't worry, it took me, and I was like, what the fuck? You just jump into those big paintings? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is funny. It's not even a bit. <laughs> I know. No, I'm serious. This game's broken. No, that's why I whipped it out, threw it a fucking way, and just put back in Goldeneye. Honestly, that game... I just gave up. That game with, like... What game? Uh, Goldeneye? S- no, Mario 64 is, like... It was ahead of its time, but at the same time, when you're transitioning from, like, Super Nintendo Mario to, like, right. that, yeah. I'm just like, oh, this makes me feel sick. <laughs> yeah, just sure. like the, yeah. Oh, it's so different. You yeah, mean. yeah. Yeah, and that that really kind of bummed me out because, and again, not trying to be hipster about it. I love when a game just advances if they do it right. Mm-hmm. Like, remember the first Grand Theft Auto? Mm-hmm. The first GTA. You're is, talking the overhead view. Yeah, it's just like, overhead. It's like little crazy bitty cars. It's like basically crazy taxi, but shitty. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And when you look at GTA now, I guess the game they've had for the past goddamn. Yeah, okay. yeah o- over a decade. It's yeah. 10 oh, years it's old. 10 years old. When you look at that, it still looks great. Like yeah. they did such a good job. Mm-hmm. And apparently the new one is like woke. And Matt Walsh was talking about it. And you know, Matt Walsh teaches us that. Um, there's and no way for GTA to be woke. No. It's all about you, like... You still gotta murder. You know what? They'll say it's woke now, and I'll tell you mm. why. Because you do kill cops in that game for fun. I'm doing that for a while. Yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, don't get me wrong. If that's woke, I'm on fucking, like... I was doing that in games, games I wasn't Saturday. supposed to, and I filled a mission. That's what I mean. Dude, I actually just kill cops. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but real quick, uh, just put on the headphones um, and uh, talk about Super Mario Brothers and okay. the game. I think it's Chris Pratt. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Mm-hmm. I just want you to keep in. There you go. All right, be right back. All right, let me fit these. I'll be white black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Super Mario. Um, yeah, the one with uh, Christopher Christ. Pratt. Um, that fucking guy sucks. I saw the trailer to it, and I was like, I... Don't hey, yeah. care. Uh, Will. Yes. Hey, um. Will. I gotta be honest. Mm. I do think it's gonna have to be you. I can't keep doing this show with this piece so, of shit. Hold on. Anyway, with uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mario. He's uh, just fucking lame and stupid. I don't like him. Like, he stinks. I'm doing it right now. With him. No, fuck him. No. I'm serious. I can't keep doing this show with him. He's a piece of shit. I know. All right. Fuck? When he goes to bed tonight. Well, yeah, the anyway, first thing I'm so gonna do is I'm gonna just run um, balls on the Chris Pratt's in, in the new one, and I don't oh, like. Oh my god! Like, that is I don't a lot of I like Chris Pratt. Out of my it's wiener. the fact Will, he's I'll Mario and he's not call my doing the voice. I think that they should bring in the guy who hey, did the Mario 64 Doctor, voice, Doctor Vinny Boombots, and yeah, um, Michael Benton. Have hey, that guy be like, it's a me um, and Mario. I'm here to save Princess Peach. Peach. Princess Peach. Yeah. Yeah. It's a Christian Mario. It's uh, excreting. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's chunky uh, too. Uh, what are they? What? Yeah, a lot of beans. A lot of beans. Yeah. No, no, no. Coming out of my wiener. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those aren't beans. Okay. Um. All right, I'll call you back. I gotta. Uh, well, no, I'm doing something with somebody. I'm gonna kill. Uh, the, 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 the kiss. Yeah. No, I gotta go back to it. Okay. All right. Love you. That's strange. <sighs> um, okay. <sighs> uh, right. Then just fucking um, pretend it's okay. I... He's your friend. You love him. He's your buddy. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let me just do something else real quick. Let's get that. No, you're not gonna kill him. You're not doing it. Not now. All right. <laughs> Man, Super Mario though. He's been so wacky lately. Yeah, he's been real wacky. Yeah. Here, let me say. Oh, you're bummed out because Chris Pratt's not doing the accent. 
Yeah, that's it. Chris Pratt's not doing the accent. Well, I think it's because everybody's gone woke and they're going broke. That's true. Nike, Disney, they're broke. They're so broke. Yeah. They're so broke. Hey, Will's coming over later with that doctor friend of mine, Benny Boombots. Okay. Yeah. We just want to hang out. Sounds fun. Yeah, maybe, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. That sounds fun. You all right? Yeah, we'll just get up a show. We Chris have, Pratt. Have a... Chris Pratt's annoying. Yeah, Chris Pratt. It's a bummer. I hate Chris Pratt. <laughs> it's like, I don't. I But, like, I like Chris Pratt, but I'm also, like, now I'm just like, every movie is just Chris Pratt. He's Andy. With a six-pack. Okay. Here's what I find fucking annoying about right-wingers, and I'm going to flip it over to the left. Mm-hmm. You guys ready for some Joe Rogan centrism? Here we go. You know what's annoying about the right? What? Is they'll be like, I refuse to ever watch a Robert De Niro movie again. Fuck him because he once was on some dumbass talk show he that's not to funny. Fuck Donald Trump and now that's like it. my world is shattered. That's all he did. My yeah, world is shattered. Yeah, there's fuck Obama everywhere. Yeah, but, exactly. You know, yeah. Okay, so they'll be like, fuck that. Now they're like not eating Hershey's chocolate because they were like, uh, here's a woke capitalist bullshit mm-hmm. commercial with a trans human being on it. Yeah. And they were like, fuck you. They got super mad. Mm-hmm. Now they're eating Jeremy's chocolates. Do you know what that is? I, I think I slightly know what you're talking about. I was looking at an like an article and about like, you know, I guess Ridesmatic Candy and uh, there was this comment that was like, well, Actually, if you don't like Hershey, here is a uh, someone linked to like yeah. Here's like an anti woke candy. Yeah, it's like it's, it's candy. candy. It's got sugar in it. <laughs> Who it gives cares? A shit. And also, they don't care either. Yeah, they're still eating Hershey's. Yeah. Okay, but I'm not some... going to order chocolate off of the internet when that I go is... to. Go also, to get Hershey's at goddamn Kroger. Phil, it's like seven dollars a bar yeah. if you order it from them. Guys, fucking buy it. Fucking sure. Give Ben Shapiro more money. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. He's not going to run out of it anytime no. soon. You're falling for this, having yeah. said that. So it's annoying when the right does that yeah. shit, right? They're like, oh, I can't support Tim Allen or something. Yeah. Which is the right, uh, not Tim yeah, Allen. Yeah, I was like, wait, what happened? Well, it's the did, opposite. Did he, no, 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 yeah. He He's transitioning into yeah. a candy bar. Oh, oh, oh. Um, no, but um, well, they'll be like, uh, fuck Tom Hanks, fuck fucking He's Sean a, Penn, yeah. fuck all these great actors. Yeah. All right, fine. Fine. Don't watch Mystic River. Don't watch yeah. fucking Forrest Gump, you retard. Fine. Yeah. Speaking of that. But, but, the left does shit like that with Chris Pratt. Yeah. They're yeah. like, well, he they, goes they to a church too. that has anti-LGBTQ values. It's like, yeah, it's called church, dumbass. Yeah. Of course they do. A lot of people are Christian. Yeah. My family's Christian. I grew up Catholic. I went to Catholic It's like, school. technically, this is a Christian nation, not saying, but it's like that thing of it was founded on Christianity. In a, well, yeah, and I'm not yeah, saying yeah. you got to stick up for it. No. I, I don't. I think You're going to all... have a big demographic of Christians. You're in an this atheist nation. and you're saying that. Yeah. I'm a fucking straight up, like, like I don't know, gay non Catholic for sure. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, I'll tell you that, right? You know, I do get spiritual, though. We all do. In no, no, no. Way. I have a room full of, like, crystals I bought. Chicken bones on a string. Mm-hmm. And they're in the shape of... You're not going to be weirded out if I say that I have, like, a bunch of dead skin flakes I've formed, like, Helga Pataki to look like you. Okay. Yeah, yeah so, uh, so a, you're just like, well, I slept on the couch last night. There's enough... Oh, yeah. Enough flakes and I take pictures of my... you when you're sleeping, and my, my friends are coming over soon. Uh, you know my doctor, Vinny Boombox. Yeah, I know. I, I've never met Vinny... Boom bots, oh, well, he's him. coming over with a skin flake detector, and mm-hmm. we're just going to see if there's enough to... But it's fun. To complete. It's fun, and we do need you to go to bed early. The perfect man. We do need you to go to bed early. Okay. But you're going to be safe. Okay. Also, Will's coming over. He okay. Wants, it's something... I don't know. Okay. I know. He's so crazy. Yeah, he he's really so is. Crazy. Um, Phil, you know how good we are at being very topical. Mm-hmm. Oscar predictions. Okay. Now, when this episode comes out... The Oscar predictions we give now will have been null and void, Mm -hmm. right? Normally, people do Oscar predictions on their episodes the week before the Mm -hmm. Oscars. We're doing it the week after. Phil, Mm -hmm. pull out your tiny wiener, but also your phone. 
Okay. Oh, he already pulled out his wiener. It's super tiny. You can't see it. Don't worry, YouTube. Don't. And my tiny it. phone from SNL. <laughs> from our stand from SNL. Yeah, where it's like a tiny one. And yeah. It's like the new Nokia thing, and and it's just like a flip phone, and it goes. Oh, from the nineties. Yeah. I'm sorry, you cannot beat SNL in the 90s. No. The 70s was too like, hey, man, that's not as funny. The 80s was just garbage. Read anything about Oscars SNL in the 80s. Oscars 2023. Oscars 2023, yeah. Oscar Isaac 2023. Okay. Yeah, I want to see him at the beach. So we're looking at like the nominee. Who's nominated, yeah. Okay. And go to the big ones. Don't fucking read the you know, best sound design. <laughs> like, oh, no, I'm like right here with uh, best picture. Yeah, gimme. Unless you want to. Gimme, 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 I need. Oh, yeah. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I want the Muir. Ladies and gentlemen, best picture. And you got to say who you think's going to win, okay? okay? Oh, this is so annoying. They have 10 for every category now. Yeah, the main it's like ones. do five. That's what they did forever, but okay. Phil, you're just going to say, first off, I don't think you've seen any of these, have you? Probably not. I are, are, are they new movies? All right, here we go. Best picture. Okay. You got to tell us your prediction. We're not doing all of them. Don't worry. We're going to do best picture, best actor, best, I guess, actress, because everything's woke now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess women exist. Women act? <laughs> women act like a bitch. Yeah, I was about to say, they act pretty, uh, pretty. Uh, I don't know, insert boomer dad joke. Oh, which is in the shape of a penis. Yeah. <sighs> best picture. Okay. Who do you think is going to win, okay? Top Gun Maverick. Women talking. Uh, everything, everywhere, all at once. The Banshees of Insurin. Triangle of Sadness, a.k.a. Phillip's asshole. Yep. The yep. Fablemans, a.k.a. Michael's asshole. I don't know why. All Quiet on the Western Front, a.k.a. Not Michael's asshole. Uh, Avatar The Way of Water, a.k.a. Phillip's asshole when it shits. Yes. <laughs> Elvis, a.k.a. Um, Not Costello. There. And Tar, a.k.a. Phillip's stools. Yeah, <laughs> cancer. <laughs> Phil, who do you think is going to win Best Picture? Top Gun Maverick. I was going to say the same. Why do you think that? Did you see it? <laughs> Uh, no, I've not seen any of Me these. Me neither. Oh, really? I've seen a few. I've seen a few for sure. I've heard that everything... You never saw everything? Not yet, all no, at once? and you've told Dude, me to. Like, I rewatched it last night. Yeah. It's... I hope it's what wins. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody talks about we need diversity and stuff like that. Not everybody. I mean, some people are like buying like anti-woke chocolate bars because they're retards. Yeah. But, you Child. know, like people have been like, hey, you know, what the fuck? You know, tell different stories instead of just, I'm white Superman. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to stop icky, evil brown people. Like that's basically Hollywood for the first like 120 years. All Westerns from like... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. We don't just, need those stinking badges. It's yeah, like, all right. Or just, just murdering Indians. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, and Americans just be like, whoa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, the gallon going, da 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 Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, uh, every, everything, everywhere, all at once is a story about a depressed Chinese American woman, right? with a laundromat business that's going under, mm -hmm. who discovers that she's a fucking superhero. I like that. But it's so fucking absurd. Mm -hmm. It's funny. And the last 30 minutes, Phil, you're gonna be crying like a little bitch. Yeah? From inspiration. Oh. It's like, imagine, it's the same thing as if you had Tony Robbins in your bed every morning when you woke up. Loud and the second you, Yeah, and you're like sleeping. And you're like, oh my God. And you like roll over and you look over and you're expecting to see your girlfriend, um, Phobia. Mm -hmm. And you look over and you see Tony Robbins staring right at you. Yeah. And he goes, get up now. Take a cold plunge. Do a thousand sit-ups. Move, move, move. I feel like I'd have to. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, you would. Yeah. He has a he has a bazooka pointed at your balls. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. True. All right. I don't want to just lose my balls. <laughs> no, a you bazooka don't. shot. Not do a bazooka shot. That they move so slow, you could get out of the way. Not when you're in bed at close range, though. True. He's got you dead to rights. Yeah, it's like pressed into it. Yeah, so you're getting up. You're doing your cold plunge. You're doing yeah. your thousand setups. You're Joe Rogan and then like motherfucking man. Okay, this is what you're doing. You're doing that. Yes. Okay. You're doing that thing thinking hard. I like it. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah. That's everything everywhere all at once. My prediction, everything everywhere all at once. Phil's prediction? Top gun maverick. Alright. Are we right? Or are we wrong? You'll know. We never will. We're committing suicide after this. Okay, suicide fact. Cool. Yeah, yeah, we have to. Best actress. Andrea Riceborough to Leslie. Okay. Michelle Williams, The Fablemans. That's the uh, Steven Spielberg movie. What else was Michelle Williams in? She was in uh, Blue Valentine. She looks. Oh wait, she was in. Uh, she was in Dawson's Creek back in the gotcha. blonde, blonde, blonde one. Blonde chick. Yep. Yeah. The blonde one. <laughs> Kate Blanchett. Cool. Uh, I like Tar. Her. Yeah. She plays Tar. Okay. I think her name's like Lydia Tar. Okay. She's a. Uh, she plays the. Uh, it's a live action version of uh, that Tar, from. Uh, from Fern Gully. It was funny. I watched that last week with <laughs> my you, girlfriend. Did, did yeah. you really? Is it good? Uh, yeah. We, we, we watched it, I guess, like the night <laughs> after we, uh, yeah, we did the episode. Watched you guys Fern were, Gully. You watched Fern and Gully? And Rescuers Down Under. Rescuers Down Under. Holds up. John Candy's the big, uh, like, the albatross or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I remember. Yeah. I love it's like, oh yeah, get on my back. We're gonna, I'm gonna take you to Australia. I'm also gonna chain smoke and do cocaine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which people are like, oh, he really did that, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna die by 42. Yep. <laughs> um, also, uh, Anna de Armas in Blonde, and uh, Michelle Yeoh, lead actress her. from Everything Everywhere mm -hmm. All at Once. Who do you think's gonna win? Michelle Yeoh. I do too. I mm -hmm. do too. I do too. I think it's smart to do. Uh, she would be the, I think, second Asian American uh, Best Actress nominee ever. And I think she would be the first winner if she won. Okay. Which would be cool, but to be honest, I don't care about that. It's just the fact that she's so fucking mm -hmm. good. Yeah. So fucking good. By the way, All Quiet on the Western Front, it's not going to win Best Picture, but I'll tell you right now, it's a German film. Mm -hmm. And it's a remake of the classic All Quiet on the Western Front, which okay. had been made a couple times. I was going to say, uh, I've heard that title. Yeah, I think it was made in the 70s for TV with Ernest Borgnine. Oh, hell yeah. Boy, oh boy, the snake is in all, my the big cap. drunk Oh nose. yeah, oh fucking love Ernie yeah. Borgs. But um, I watched it about two months ago on Netflix and it's a masterpiece. Mm -hmm. It's a masterpiece. I don't think it's going to win, but it was great. Where's Best Actor? They took that out. Just to fuck us in the ass. <laughs> Just to take our little asses and fuck them. Yeah. Best that's male do. actress. That's what they say now. It's like, what? <laughs> Best little bitch. Yeah. Best Michael Benton. Bitch award goes to... <laughs> Best actor. Okay. Brendan Fraser, The Whale. Austin Butler, Elvis. Colin Farrell, The Banshees of Insurance. I've heard it's great. I haven't seen it. It's from the guy who made uh, In Bruges. Okay. Uh, who did that? Martin McDonough. Okay. I was about to say Danny Boyle. No, not Danny Boyle. Not Danny I love Boyle. In Bruges, though. Oh, great yeah. fucking movie. Um, Bill Nighy in Living. And Paul Mezcal in After Sun. I'm going to go with... Brendan Fraser for The Whale. I am too. I, I haven't seen it. You haven't but seen it? Oh my I actually, fucking God, dude. My friend Chad came over a couple days ago. Ew. And he had it on his flash drive. And, Ew. Oh, uh, when you say flash the, drive, you mean his penis? Yeah, and he inserted his flash drive into and the your, computer. My which ass. Which is your ass. <laughs> so I could get a copy of The Whale. Have not watched it yet because I haven't had the time to where I want to sit down Watch the movie. No, I don't I mean, want it to be whenever like late you want night. to sit down on Chad's 
thumb drive. Yeah, well, I mean, it's thumb, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't hurt that much. It's a little baby thumb, too. Yeah, yeah. It's know, like, oh. It's, it's like, ah, you're barely breaking the seal, sister. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely check it out. The whale was amazing. Saw it with Alejandro Espinosa. Because, like I said, like, I want to be where, like, I can sit down and watch a movie and not go to sleep, like, late at night. So, yeah, sure. I want it to be that, yeah. Well, we can sit back to back in the bubble bath here in a little bit and watch it on uh, our phones. Okay. And just turn back to each other, but like, you see him though? Yes, we both are watching it. Uh, <laughs> si- si- yeah, like at the same time. You know? No, I have the mirror in the bathtub, yeah. so we'll sit back mirror to Mirror in the bathtub. <laughs> Turtle power. Yeah. <laughs> I also think Brendan Fraser is going to win for yeah. the whale. It's amazing. I really hope the guy who played Elvis has a career that keeps going. Mm-hmm. But I don't think he earned it. No, I think and the Brendan way Fraser did. Elvis looked, it almost looked like... Like they CGI'd his face, or it just doesn't well, look almost was, human. It looks like a weird, like clone alien. What's thing. his name? Laz Berman? Yaz La- Berman? Yaz Berman? Baz Berman? Baz Boz Lerman? Nas Nerman? It's Nas. It's Nas Nerman. Hell yeah. Illmatic? <laughs> Illmatic, dude. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. It's Nas Fuck Nerman. Yeah. I'm, I'm, all right, I'm sold. That's the top three we're picking. In terms of best supporting actor, I'm going to imagine Gary Bussey. Gary Busey for Silver Bullet. Silver Bullet. I think it's finally time they do that. I bet you that wins. Yeah. I, uh, so an award we should have, I guess, gave him in 1987. <laughs> this wasn't even on the list for us in 1987, but somehow we're going to... And he's uh, insisted that he rides in on his uh, scooter. Yes. With uh, some Jewish uh, nerdy uh, the, the, the documentarian. Do you remember that movie? That yes. Show, the show uh, I'm that. with Busey. I'm with Busey. I remember he took him out like God. into the desert and was chasing him with like a flaming tree branch. I got like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he also had one where they were just like in his front yard with like a sandbox. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, you put that there and you're make a little castle over there. <laughs> it's just like fucking weird. I'm with Busey. Only one season. Mm-hmm. But I never fucking forgot that I show. I so want to go back to that. I do too. It's got to be too. on some streaming. No, I bet you they deleted YouTube, every fucking... just like shitty version. Oh, I bet you. Like recorded from a camera from like at the te- like the television. Oh, well for Pete's sakes, I bet it's there. That might be. Uh, I There was a time that YouTube had, what's that John, I won't say John Candy, uh, the, other, the other fat John, John Goodman. You could watch what the Where he first was season of Normal, Normal Ohio. Normal Ohio, that's right. And I watched like two episodes on there, but it, it was basically like the guy just like... He was like, recorded oh, it from his, I'm 47 and fat and gay. Yeah, and it lasted... They didn't even complete the season. No, no, no. They canceled that after like three episodes. <laughs> three episodes. People were like, fuck this. Yeah, we're like, we're not ready for a gay John Goodman. No, I we're still not I'm ready still not. for it. I'm not ready for it. No. Whenever gay John Goodman finally shows himself, mm-hmm. all of our problems immediately over. Yeah. That's Biden's last play. That's Joe Brandon's last play. Yeah. People are like, oh, I don't know, gas and eggs. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh yeah? Gay John Goodman. Yeah. He plays that card, right? And we're all just going to be scissor sexing our way to fucking just utopia, dude. We're fucking made after that, dude. Cool. It's going to be see, fucking cool. Yeah, cool as shit. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Movie News Podcast Tonight, starring me, Michael Tit Fuckington, and of course, my anchor... Oh, I thought you, you were... Uh, Philip. Philip. The Fat Black Weather the Fat Man. Black Weather Man. <laughs> and... Uh, join us on the Patreon this week at patreon.com forward slash PMTM, where we are going to be speaking about the one, the only? The only. Gary Bussey. Gary Bussey. And join us next week on the show because we're going to be talking about... What is this? You know what we're talking about. For the next week? Yeah, don't be coy. Don't be Joe Coy. You know what we're talking about, okay. you unfunny comedian. <laughs> I think he's dating Chelsea Handler. Oh, who isn't? <laughs> At this point. <laughs> you know what we're talking about, Stink Bug. J- Joe Coy. Uh, Andy Jay Dick. Burichel. I don't Jay know. Burichel? He's naming Jays. Well, we need to name some other fetties. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Fitty One Cent. Fitty One Cent. Fitty Poo. Fitty Finkel. Fitty Finkel, sure. <laughs> I don't know. What are we doing next week? 
You don't know? Ah,、uh, no. How do you not know? Because we didn't talk about it. Yeah, I know we didn't, but I'm just going to assume that it's obvious when we're going to be talking about Ace Ventura when nature calls. There we go. We're going to be doing that next week. Yes, that's what we're doing. The best one. Yeah,、uh, yeah, the only one. Okay. Yeah. There's none、Should、other be. made. Yeah. yeah. I think they made one where he was like a kid and fat. Yeah, it was some fat kid. That... Why were they like? What would he be like, little a fat kid? I guess. Oh wait, no, no, no! The fat kid was his son, <laughs> and Ace Ventura and whatever lady that he impregnated, like, have gone, <laughs> have been missing for like ten years, and he's like lives with like his. Grandma or something.、And、he's like, oh, I'm like my dad, who I've never met. I have the same hair and the clothes. And she's like, you're my son's son. Yeah. So we get to meet the Mama mother, Ventura. Mama Ventura. Yes, I'm Mama Ventura. I make I, a spaghetti. I, I, yeah, I'm a Vicky Ventura. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey, Vicky Ventura. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Well, check it out next week. We're not talking about that. No, we're, we're talking, talking about, about three, about two. Yeah, we're talking about we're talking about Ace Ventura when nature calls. Yes. Okay. And join us on the Patreon this week for Gary Bussy Talk now、uh, at patreon.com forward slash pm tm. Phil, sign us off. We'll see you later, movie minions. Bye. That was the news. Bye. Bye. I love you. We love you. We really do, though. Really, really, really do. All right. So this is the post credit sequence.、Mm-hmm. We nailed it. We did. We nailed it. We we're like, we're 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 gonna go viral. We're going so fucking viral. Yeah. We're gonna be like the stop biting my finger, Charlie. It's gonna be so viral. People will be shitting blood. Yeah, dude. To death. To death. To death. Also, I gotta call my doctor, Vinny、uh, Bumbats. Okay. Will or something? No. Yeah. For sure.